So every symptom indicates that Bong Su is coming into his first musk. And when the mating urge hits, he'll be uncontrollable. A rogue elephant. He could totally destroy this enclosure. All right, give it to me straight. How much time we got? There's no way of knowing. Maybe a month, maybe tomorrow. It's a big help, Mitch. I need something more concrete than that. Well, we know so little about their cycles. I mean, maybe you should ask Bong Su. Perhaps his dad told him all about the birds and the bees when he was little. <sighs> OK. What kind of special enclosure are we talking about? We're talking about almost emptying the Spencer Trust Fund. Well, out the back it do. Have to be steel girders, eh? Hi, Nick. We're boom bong skew a new house. He's gonna have a baby, and he's mad about it. What time do you want to go, Dad? Go where? To buy the headphones. Oh, look, you don't need me, do you? I'm a bit busy. Well, there's a lot of different makes. You were going to help me choose. Well, how much do you need? I told you I had the money. I've saved up. Well, you'll be all right on your own then, won't you? Thank you, ma'am. Is Nick around? Gone shopping, I think. Well, the baby koala's ready to go into the enclosure. Say goodbye, Susie. Oh, gee, couldn't we just keep this one, Dad? Hey, you know the rules, kiddo. How's the squirrel monkey doing? It bit Nick yesterday. <laughs> well, it can't be all bad. Is that a nice thing to say about your own son? I love my own son. Despite the fact that currently he's a 100% pain in the... in the neck. It's a phase he's going through. Maybe it's a phase you're going through. I'm grown up. I'm allowed. <laughs> Besides, peace may be on the way. We had disarmament talks last night. Oh, yes. He's buying headphones for his stereo. Nick, we've got to do the hospital. Gee, the new headphones work really well. Thanks, heaps. You're a bit late. We're closing. I'm a friend of Nick Mitchell's. Could I see him? Oh, just a minute. Come on, come on. Aren't you a cutie? There you go. There you go. You know what this is? Slave labour. The worst other kids get stuck with is doing the dishes. What about Wendy Burns? She's got to help out in their mum's shop. Yeah, but this isn't exactly the same as making milkshakes, is it? Moan, moan. Treatment centre. Just a minute. Nick, did you invite anybody back from school? Not this weekend. I'd better go and see who it is. I'll go. You finish the cages. Just a minute. Slave labour. Got any work to dump this stuff? Sure. What are you doing here, Fred? I just want to talk to Nick, that's all. Oh, hiya, Fredo. Hey, Nick, you are. Who let you out of jail? Is this where your dad works? This is where we all work. What are you doing here? I want to ask you something. Follow me. Go check out the giraffes, Susie. This is private. Oh, big deal. OK, shoot. If I tell you, you've got to promise you won't tell. Sure. No one can hear you. They won't tell. I've got my transistor, my model aeroplane with the radiator controls. Two brand new Dungeons and Dragon book. You can have the lot for ten bucks. How come? I need the money. I'm clearing out. I think you're off your head. And what about your mum? She'll be worried sick. Well, they've gone away for the weekend. I have to stay home and study, as usual. Did you leave a note or anything? Or what for? They're never there. Oh, come on, Nick. 
Are you going to be in it or not? Ten bucks isn't much to ask for all that stuff. I just bought headphones. I haven't got it. Oh, forget it. Not until Monday morning. I've got some money in my savings account. I can't wait till Monday. Why not? You can stay here for the weekend. Well, what about your dad? Oh, he's cool. He doesn't mind us having friends over. And it'll give you time to think things out. And what about Susie? You leave Susie to me. I just want you to promise, that's all. It's not much to ask. I don't like it. I can't tell you till you promise. I can't promise not to tell until I know what it is. I'm your brother. Don't you trust me? All right. I'll make a deal with you. I'll tell you. And if you don't go along with it, you can tell Dad first thing tomorrow morning. OK, fair enough. I promise. Fred's clearing off from home. He's crazy. And I told him he could stay here for the weekend. You're both crazy. I figured maybe we could talk him out of it, OK? You won't have to tell Dad. It'll be on the news by tomorrow morning. We'll give Fred a fake name. Tony. Tony Baxter. Oh, come on, Susie, go with it. OK. Now I think I'm crazy. Well, congratulations, Susie. The Shaw beats the cafe at university. Don't you work here? Not very often. <laughs> I'm still studying, Tony. Theory. Practice isn't everything. Any more sausages? Uh, we have to do for ourselves this weekend. Tony, you're down for dinner tomorrow night, Dad. Hmm. Well, that'll be spaghetti bolognese. Wow. Spaghetti bolognese. Boy, only 24 hours to go before... All right, all right. Back to the university, Kev. Don't you start. Spaghetti bolognese is my speciality. It's his favourite recipe. It's his only recipe. <laughs> You're not a spoiled. That's your problem. You had to stomach some of the meals I had in East Africa. Like the roasted locusts. Or the frozen wild blubber in Antarctica. Well, if you've got better things to do than listen to my stories... Something is up. Mitch, I like spaghetti. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> Uh-oh. How long do you think? Knowing Mr Spencer, about five minutes. Blasted pachyderms. This is the last straw. There are laws against that kind of racket. Bennett won't talk his way out of this one. <clears throat> Thomas Spencer here for Bennett, if you please, and kindly tell him this is an emergency. Blasted animals do it on purpose. Don't think I don't know that. Noise pollution. That's what it boils down to. I tried to head him off at the pass, but it was like trying to reason with a rhinoceros. He'll be next on the list. Leave him to me, Ken. Mitch, be nice. Spencer's difficult enough to handle at the best of times. Ken, trust me. <laughs> Come on, Tim. I'll drop you off at your mum and dad's. One minute, 59 seconds, a minute, 58, a minute, 57. Your oh, dad's terrific. He makes me do homework, too. Yeah? Three hours every day after school. Four hours on Saturday and Sunday. I'd go nuts. I got the marks dad wanted. Then this morning, he told me he was going to put me in another school. A boarding school. I tried to tell him I didn't want to go. I wanted to stay here with all my mates. He just yelled at me. If I'll find out you're missing sooner or later, by that time, I'll be a hundred miles from here. Hi, Nick. Hi, Tony. Shouldn't you be home? Come on, Tim. Just go and see ya. Do you think he heard anything? Nah, don't worry about it. Five, four, three, two and a half, two. <laughs> Dr. Mitchell speaking. Uh, Spencer here, Mitchell. Those blasted elephants are driving me mad. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, Mr. Spencer. I don't want your blasted sympathy. You're the vet in this menagerie. Do something about it. Ah, uh, one fly wide, two sweet and sour pork to go. I beg your pardon. S sorry, Mr. Spencer, I, I didn't catch that. 
Actually, you ought to tell me no. Hold on, no, no. What is all this gibberish? Hello. Look, we seem to have a crossed line, Mr. Spencer. I'll see you in the morning. Sleep tight. <laughs> That Bongsu didn't keep you awake all night. What's wrong with him? What does he want? Unfortunately, Bongsu doesn't really know what he wants at the moment. <laughs> to be a responsible father or stay a delinquent teenager. All part of growing up, you know. Of course. You busy? Uh, no. Good, I could do with a hand in the hospital. Me? Well, you've got to earn your keep around here. <laughs> Mind cleaning a cage for me? Mm, I suppose so. You better roll your sleeves up. It's messy. You uh, got any pets at home, Tony? No. Mum says they carry fleas. What you're saying, Bennett, is that you deliberately bought this male elephant into the zoo knowing the trouble it would cause, and now you want me to pick up the bill. It's the mating urge, Mr. Spencer. Yes, 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 I understand all that. And I don't think it's the sort of thing that should be discussed with ladies present. Now, don't try and blind me with science. I'm an authority on these beasts. Used to hunt them in Africa. They're Asian elephants, Mr. Spencer. <laughs> By the way, Bennett, I suggest you have your switchboard checked. I ended up talking to some blasted Chinese restaurant last night. Hi. I've uh, got a mystery. You want to help me solve it? OK. Next friend, Tony, has a watch with the name Frederick Robinson on the back. OK, maybe your dad knows something about it. Hang on! I think you'd better come clean. Do you think we could do a deal? Look what you've done! I'm OK. Didn't hurt. But look at the flower beds. Your dad's told you a hundred times to stay away from them. I didn't mean to, Nick. I was just trying to beat the grade six record. What's he done? Tim's dad is the head groundsman. The zoo gardens are his pride and joy. Jeez, what a mess. You'll get killed. Dad's going to yell at me, isn't he? Oh, they skin you alive. I'd be packing my bags if I were you. Can I run away with you, Tony? Thanks, friend. Well, can I? He's not really going to run away, Tim. Yes, he is. His dad yelled at him. Hey, Tim, do you want to play hide and seek? Yeah, but what about... Hide and seek? Shut up. You're it. Close your eyes and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you notice anything odd about the kids this morning? How do you mean odd? Uh, something I picked up. Us fathers have a sixth sense, you know. And, uh, what does it tell you? I'm not sure. It's not school, they're not in trouble with any of the keepers, but... something is up. I think Nick and Susie are pretty responsible kids. And that, Your Honour, is the case for the defence. That was a pretty dirty trick you pulled on Tim before. Come on, do you want to be stuck with the kid? Tim's okay. That's a problem with you, Nick. You haven't grown up. And you have, I suppose. Yeah. I'm running my own life from now on. Clearing out's the easy bit. How are you going to live? I've got plans, so you keep saying. But I haven't heard any. I'm going on the dole for a start. You can't. You're not old enough for unemployment benefits. I look older. I can do fruit picking and stuff. There's tons of things I can do. And if you had any brains, you'd come with me. Me? Why? You haven't got it so great. You have to help with the housework, and you get stuck babysitting that Tim kid. Is Tim with you too? Not now. <sighs> Terrific. He's left his mum a note. He's run away from home. I didn't mean anything. You're stupid, you know that? I can understand Tim. He's only ten years old. 
but you're supposed to be grown up. Hey, Susie, he's off. What happened? He was worried about being in trouble with his dad. I only said... Said what, Nick? I didn't mean to scare him. I'll bet. If anything happens to that kid, you know who's to blame, don't you? Mitch? Don't tell me Spencer's changed his mind. No such luck. Young Tim's run away from home. Oh, are you kidding me? Took his cub tent. His dad's out looking for him. I've ordered a search of the zoo just in case. I knew something was going on. Yeah, well, keep your eyes open, mate. It wasn't our fault. I bet it was. Susie was right. It's not my worry. I'm gone. You're a fake, you know that? You think you've grown up and you want to be free. So what do you do? You run away from everything like a dumb little kid. Well, I thought you were a mate of mine. You're just like that elephant in there. Bong Su makes a lot of noise about nothing and wants to tear his enclosure to pieces. Mr. Big. He doesn't know what's wrong with him and he can't tell anybody. So what excuse have you got? I tried talking, but it didn't work. So go on, run away, shoot through. I'm gonna look for Tim. Oh, hang on. Mum's going to be glad to know you're okay. She's been crying. So have I. Oh, that's no good. You stay here much longer, the monkeys are going to start charging you rent. There he is. Hi, Tim. Good day, fellas. You shouldn't have run away, Tim. I'm not anymore. Was it because I said your dad would be mad at you? Sort of, but... Now listen to me, Tim. That's no reason to run away. But... Fathers are all the same. They don't understand how you're feeling. But you just have to wear it. I ran away like you did. And it was a dumb thing to do. My father's a pain in the neck at times. He yells at me and sometimes he's unfair. Nick, I don't think but you should be... Fathers are like that. You just have to learn to live with them. Fellas. This pain in the neck wants an explanation. Nick was supposed to talk Fred out of it, Dad. Fred? That's my real name, Mr Mitchell. Now, the question is, what do we do about this? Now, normally, Fred, I'd ask for a vote, but I think in this case it's up to you to advise us. I guess you'd better call my dad. Why did you come here? I was trying to sell a few things. I see. Well, at least that's practical. You weren't running away without cash. Can I ask why? You kept pushing me to study. And then you wanted me to go to a boarding school. You wouldn't listen to me. I just had it. Because we wanted you to have the best. What about what I want? Don't I get to say my own life? You've grown up. I guess I've been too busy to notice. But Fred, I've been in business all my life. I've made a success of it. I know how important it is to have an advantage. Is Mum OK? Cried her eyes out last night. Sorry. I'll do whatever you say. That's not what I want. I know I shouldn't make decisions for you. It's just that I don't want you to have the hard road I had when I was a young man. Did you really? Nobody's born with an office on the top floor, you know. When you were a kid, Dad, did you ever run away?
Why don't you show me these elephants of yours? Where's Fred? I'm talking to his dad. Dad? Yes? When we found Tim... Yes? Look, I... Well, I said a few things. Sure did. Well, I said them to make Tim understand. But they weren't all wrong. I see. Just being honest, Dad. Well... If I can't have flattery, I guess I'll have to settle for honesty. I wonder if that'd work with Mr. Spencer. See, that's what it's all about, Mr. Spencer. When Bonksu goes into mass, the glands below his eyes release a fluid that flows down into his mouth. It drives him crazy because he wants to make babies. Mitchell, what kind of children are you raising? I have never, never in my entire... Thomas Spencer, isn't it? Hmm? James Robinson, Rob Core Investments. We met at the Premier's charity affair. Oh, of course, by George. <laughs> Pleasure, Robinson. <laughs> my son here has been telling me about your plans to breed these elephants in captivity. Congratulations. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> my company will match whatever Mr. Spencer contributes, Mr. Bennett. That should get you a new corral off to a good start. It's very generous. Thank you very much. If you'll excuse me, my son's giving me a guided tour. Keep up the good work, Spencer. <laughs> He's a very important businessman, with a lot of influence, don't you think? Blasted pachyderms. <coughs> oh, Bonks is going to get his new enclosure. Dad told me. You know something, Nick? What? Running away doesn't work. Right. Yeah. My tent kept falling down. <laughs> Oh, my God. 